Hey everybody, Cody here with Let's Talk About Sense. Today I'm going to start this video off by saying if you would please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out tremendously. All of those likes, I promise they go towards something good and they really, really, really help build what this channel is and they allow me to keep exploring new fragrances, new brands, new people that I get to come in contact. It helps me to keep doing this. The more this channel grows, the more great content that I can put out for you all. So thank you so very much for everyone that has subscribed and all of those likes that I already get. They are so, so tremendously meaningful and I just love each and every one of you all for all your support. So just had to get that out of the way. Thank you all so very much. And like I said, this is Cody with Let's Talk About Scents. <coughs> Excuse me. Today, we are going to be talking about a botanical perfume brand by the name of Herbcraft Perfumery. Herbcraft Perfumery is created by a Mauricio Garcia. Mauricio Garcia and Herbcraft is all about the connecting form of witchcraft and spirituality to his fragrances, allowing us as the consumer to experience fragrances with a purpose. Super interesting. Never had anything fragrance rise that deals with witchcraft and spirituality. And I will tell you, these have been some of the most unique and transportive fragrances out of botanicals that I've ever experienced. As you all know from my previous video, I just dealt with Mandy Aftales and Her Naturals, and I had some very interesting childlike sense, um, past reminiscence, and these have done some of the same, but not past experiences. These are more in the realm of they invoke they evoke feeling. I have had experiences with these of feeling like I'm somewhere else. So, spirituality. It's amazing. Cannot wait to get in and tell you all about these. They are so unique and you're going to love this. You need to try these, sample them, and experience exactly what I'm talking about. Anywho, a little bit more about uh, Mauricio. Mauricio um, teaches classes and workshops on witchcraft along with uh, formulating bespoke products for individual and indie brands. Um, he teaches classes on aromatherapy, uh, perfumery, botanical folklore, and witchcraft. Um, let's see. He is part of the Coalition of Sustainable Perfumery. So we're talking um, basically reconnecting materials, um, being sustainable, packaging, and education, all revolving around fragrances to help just create and keep them as earth conscious friendly and just using what is given to us here on the land and not disrupting earth's beautiful nature and embracing it. So kudos to Maurice, uh, Mauricio. Fantastic what he does. Fantastic work. There's so much more about it. As you know, I'll leave everything in the description. You guys can go and read about Mauricio. Um, phenomenal individual, such a extensive backstory and huge resume of what he takes a part in. So, all right. So first fragrance up, we are going to be talking about Daemonica. Daemonica, the ingredients in this one are going to be bitter orange, ruby grapefruit, pink pepper, Namibian myrrh, geranium, jasmine, narcissus, rose, almond, cinnamon, tobacco, Cipral, Oud, Leather, Styrax, Civet, and Vanilla. And Musk. Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a lot in this one. A lot going on. All right. What I get from Daemonica. Got here my little tester. 
which these are totally different on skin, by the way. So tester all you want, but when it comes to naturals and all of the layers that are in these fragrances, you're going to get such a different story on skin. We have them on testers right here. I wore all these on skin as well. So first thing, get a tinge of the tart citrus, grapefruit, bitter orange, right off the opening. Then you're going to have heavy florals, the jasmine, the narcissus, rose, all of that huge florals coming through. A sweet musk, very sweet, musky. You've got the cipral. Um, that leather adds a freshness to it. Vanilla. Such a fantastic fragrance. This fragrance evoked the feeling of love for me. I have this overwhelming sense of just love, feeling love, um, almost a loving connection with the scent itself, and wanting to express. Um, lots of feeling of expression of love. It's a very warm, it's a very, um, it's a very large embrace. I, I love this. That's the best way to put into words on Daemonica. It just evokes that feeling of love. It's really nice. Next, we are going to have Ofrenda. Ofrenda is going to be bergamot, lime, mezcal, sempuchia, which is Mexican marigold, coaxtitl, which is going to be red fringe panty, um, chittel. I'll mix a chittle. I, I know that I'm murdering these names. <laughs> Tuberose, um, chili ancho, cardamom, corn silk, cacao, vanilla, candle wax, and ambrette. So, off of Ofrenda. Let's see here. So, on this one, floral opening. ton of sweetness. Huge bursts of sweetness in this one. Then I get a very strong um, cacao and vanilla. It is super, super strong on that cacao and vanilla, almost like a chocolate and vanilla swirl ice cream just completely melds and blends together. And then a very rich and sweet ambrette that is on top of that. There's a slight, there's a slight booziness to it, and then a overly sugary booziness. So sugar, boozy, sweet, cacao, vanilla almost smells like a a boozy dessert. So really, really nice. Um, this one. Just get a very, this is another another feeling. It's a very calm. It's a very calming scent. Um, it just allows you to feel just at peace, at ease. Um, very calm, very relaxed. It's really nice because of that. Anytime that you need to wind down, this is just that boozy, sweet, calming, just feeling very just very grounded, just a very grounded, right where you're at, it's right where you're supposed to be, very enjoyable. If you need to relax, try Ofrenda. It'll allow you to just calm, just mellow out, very enjoyable. Up next, we're going to have Memoria. It's this one right here. We have Fur, Fog, Juniper, Wormwood, cypress, smoke, cedarwood, amber, vanilla. This right here was my favorite. It was a toss-up between this one and um, Hypnotica, but this one right here is my absolute favorite.
favorite fragrance out of the bunch, and I will tell you why this fragrance absolutely transports me. This is not a sense that I get. This is not a certain um, feeling or um, an emotion. This is literally my mind gets transported almost as if I am just asleep traveling. If you close your eyes and you smell this fragrance right here, oh my God, it's so intense. It is unbelievably intense. I'm telling you right now, everyone should try this fragrance just to see what I'm experiencing. This is a very resin, camphorous, rich, herbaceous fragrance. You are walking, oh my lord, just strolling through a fog-filled forestry. I'm talking moist, damp earth beneath your bare feet. And the forest is just lined with moist water dripping off of wild fern covered all over the forestry. And the fog just rolling through. You can smell the fog in this fragrance. I know as in how insane that sounds to people that have never experienced that. But I'm telling you right now, my nose on this fragrance, I can smell the moisture and the air from that fog in this fragrance. I have no idea how you have done that, Mauricio. I, I swear to you, I've never had anything under my nose like this fragrance right here. I need to own a full bottle of this, and I plan on obtaining one just so I can experience this for as long as I possibly can. It is unbelievable the feeling that that creates. I don't even know how to explain it. So that is that one. The second up to my favorite was Hypnotica. Hypnotica. Ah, oh, that's so nice. It's this one right here. This has lavender, violet leaf, violet flower, plum, pear, jasmine, tuberose, and benzoin. This is a crisp, floral, has booziness to it. This is another one of those that paints an image. It's not, it's not an emotion. It's not necessarily a feeling. It is immediate imagery as if you were just daydreaming when you close your eyes and smell this fragrance. This one, I do get a very reminiscent quality with it, like I have been there and experienced something connected, something created with this fragrance. Um, juiciness, boozy, kind of, I guess, from the from the plum and the pear, where it has that, that crisp and then that dark juice. To me, I close my eyes and I envision dark juice just dripping from violet flower or the violet leaf, almost like if you watch a dark resinous juice just run out of a honeysuckle, but instead it's violet. It just, it just evokes this place of being. Just, I've seen it before. I'm literally, I'm... I'm outside on a long walk, going to the corner market, taking the back road with all the wildflowers and bush, just walking down a one-way road with my Nana and looking at all of the wildflowers, throwing my popsicle stick and her making me go and pick it up and having to brush my way through all of that of that wild, just sticky, dripping honeysuckles and prickly bushes. It's so, it's so amazing what, what these natural perfumes do. And I'm so thankful that uh, Mauricio has allowed me the pleasure of putting my nose on, on these. Thank you so very much for this experience. I absolutely love it. I love 
every single time I get to place my nose on something like this and just literally take a journey. I can sit right in my living room and place these on and have all of these just spiritual connections with these and the essence of you that you have put in these is totally connective and whatever you are going for in creation of these I'll just tell you right now you absolutely nailed it so thank you so very much guys please go and try these from um, Herbcraft from Mauricio Garcia they're absolutely phenomenal Mauricio, thank you so very much for the opportunity and thank you for sending these over um, to check out. And I most definitely will be um, obtaining a bottle of Memoria just so I can experience that for forever. Um, guys, a sample of these only runs $7. And then for a full bottle of 100 milliliter, you're only looking at 125 and I'll tell you the experience and the emotion that these draw out and the transportive qualities of spirituality and everything, you must most definitely try them and you will not regret it. Thank you again so very much, guys. And like I said, if you would please hit that thumb up, like, please comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Turn on the bell notification. We'll have plenty more coming up for you. And... We thank you. We'll see you next time.